I'm Natalia and finally I'm ready to finish my project with a wall clock. As you saw in my previous video, I stabilized moss. If you missed it, you are very welcome to watch it. So right now I have a stabilized reindeer moss with a glycerol. I also added some paint to have it this color. And now I'm going to uh, fill this clock to, to have nice like moss belt around. Yeah, let's do it together. And don't forget to subscribe because I have another project in my head. So follow me. So for today's project, we need a wall clock, a silicone glue gun uh, and stabilized moss. Uh, I will use most of two colors. I would like to have light green and some part was a bit darker. Uh, I bought a clock in a regular store. Uh, it, it didn't have anything uh, on the back side, so I uh, um, fixed it with uh, cardboard. So now I have a surface where I can uh, glue my moss to it. So uh, how I'm going to do it, uh, most in general, as usual, it's a bit longer. I don't want to stick it out so much, so I just cut it and use a glue gun, put some glue and stick. And then take the next one just measure approximately the same size. It's not so crucial to have all of them equal size because as for me, I think it looks more naturally when some are a bit higher, some are a bit lower, like a forest, you know, in a forest, if you have mixed forest, you have some trees are higher, some are lower. And for me, this clock is like, uh, imitation of a natural force. So cut, glue. Be careful, this is very hot. And stick it. Need some piece here. Just a little bit. One part is already fixed. Uh, so um, my plan is first to uh, fill out the big spaces over here and then uh, the rest. So I'm moving that direction. Um, by the way, in the comments, a uh, few people asked uh, uh, how this moss looks uh, and feels after a couple of months, which are right now. So now it's like almost four months since I stabilized this with uh, water and glycerol. And as you see, it's soft and preserved. So now I will continue to filling out the rest spaces here. The only tip that I can give you, you don't need to use a lot of glue. Uh, but it's just to say that you, you can use as much as you want. Don't ask to do that. So let's let's do. It. project that uh, I'm going to do. I actually uh, done one already. Uh, this is uh, mm, tree and uh, my plan is to film it uh, when I do it next time. I think it's very pretty and uh, very nice uh, uh, decoration for your home and also uh, it's perfect present, for example Christmas present. So, don't forget to subscribe to, to see how to do that. Concerning a wall clock, as you see, no, nothing special, very easy to do. 
just need some patience and uh, and more than the clock and, and that's basically it. I would be happy to see your works when you are done. Please attach to, to the comments. This is this will be a last segment of this color and um, this quarter of a clock uh, I'm going to do with a bit darker green. So, on the way to finish. This part I'm going to fill out with a darker green and also randomly I will put a light green in between. So, let's continue. in between like where I have um, digits here so uh, do, do not waste stabilized moss I will use this bottom part that I uh, cut before it must be sure to not stick out for nice visibility so uh, I'm done with light green part even here in the small spaces and uh, now uh, I will continue with the darker color as you see here I have a lot of spaces so it's not so dense it's because as I said I plan to uh, mix it with uh, light color like here to have it like in in the same tone so, randomly Oh, don't forget to clean it from needles and leaves. Here, here. So I'm happy to finish this project. This is how my uh, wall clock looks right now. For that, I uh, used around 250 grams of stabilized moss. Unfortunately, a lot of it was just waste because I used just the upper part, but in total it was 250 grams. Also, I used two 20 centimeters long um, uh, glue gun sticks and and wall clock itself wish you to create your own project and please share in the comments what did you get in the end see you bye bye